Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Believe it or not, we are still waiting for the sun to come out. Meanwhile, well, I guess everybody's getting together in Iowa for, well, after the results of the straw poll. And we have today Old Cam with OF and our news video web with comments on the headlines of today. And Obama blames Bush and the Republicans for their economy being so bad. Well, the Democrats are, I mean, the pollsters are now telling him this thing is really wearing thin. He said that you're, he told him, he, he doesn't understand, he's the president. He is the one that spent all of this money. George Bush didn't spend it, and the Republicans are trying to keep him from spending more. Mm -hmm. But they don't worry, though. They said the problem that Bush, that Obama has on the left is that he's not spending enough money. They said, just wait, he's going to spend it, folks because he's got to decide, do I want the middle? Do I, I said, do I want the people that are, you know, the unaffiliated, or do I want the Democratic Party to support me? So he's going to go with the expenditures, knowing full well that they said they will not elect him if he goes another $2 trillion, which he's planning to do. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They said that it's just the, totally the wrong, his people, the people, the pollsters on the left, that, I mean, we're talking to partisan people on the left saying, you cannot spend any more money. If you spend it, you know, they're, they're telling him, Casey, Casey and Wade say that you need to continue. To, if your problem is you didn't spend enough money and there is no money to spend, and he's got to try to do it by government mandate. So. And U.S. woman missing in Aruba and travel partner detained. I know. And this is the whole thing. And my father used to get really pissed about this new police officer. He said the first person they always go after is a family member. They never go any further than that. And he said that he saw a lot of people in the 30-some years he was a reserve officer put in jail for crimes they didn't do. Mm -hmm. Because they don't go, they don't go any further to a family than a family member. I know member. they always just assume the family member did it. Yeah. It's like it doesn't. They don't even. And they'll try to. They'll try to put the, the make the evidence fit the person and not. Try it's to, almost like they're just trying to put somebody in jail to say that they did it. It's a conviction. They want a conviction yeah. rate. They said it's not nest. It's not the police department. It's the district attorney's office that does it, folks. And the Tea Party proves clout, but at what cost? Well, they don't seem to get the thing. The, the, the Tea Party wants you to stop spending. The, uh, the moderates want you to stop spending. The liberals want you to stop spending. The conservatives want you to stop spending. The blue dog Democrats want you to stop spending. So guess who is the largest uh, in, the, in the largest consensus at the moment? It's the Tea Party, not the Democrats on the left. Ooh, and 2012 GOP race jolted with straw poll. Perry entry. No, it didn't have anything. I mean, it showed that Perry was absolutely right and not wasting his money. Michelle Bachman will never get the nomination for president with the, uh, okay, Charles Krautheimer doesn't like her. Bill O'Reilly doesn't like her. Uh, uh, most of the people at the upper echelon of the Republican Party do not want a woman in that position. I know. So, and then the um, the you know they got the man underneath her, Ron Paul. Ron Paul could not win the nomination if his life depended upon it. They're not going to name some guy might you know. But as it is, Perry doesn't stand a chance. Perry is old enough to be Obama's father, folks. They're not going to elect a four-term governor from Texas to the presidency, so it's probably going to be a third-party candidate that will be the president next time. Storms ahead as debt deal sets up tax fight. No, because the Democrats, their whole thing is we've got to raise taxes. It's the only way we're going to make things work is to raise taxes. They're not going to cut. They just want to spend more money. It said taxes never go to cutting the debt. It only goes to more spending. This is what they're talking about now. I heard them say that if we raise the taxes on those people that aren't fairly paying their fair share of taxes for shared sacrifice, then the money that is being brought in can go to pay the debt. And the guy said, you mean, in other words, the increase in taxes will go to more government spending and not to paying down? Well, there'll be enough money coming in to pay the debt. Uh, mm -hmm. Isn't that what people were saying to begin with, that there was enough money coming in to pay the debt? Mm -hmm. Now the Democrats are now saying, but we didn't say it in that way. The, the Democrats said the Republicans didn't want, the Republicans wanted to cause us to default. They didn't want us to pay the debt, but they, also, they keep saying that there's more, enough money to pay the debt. Obama's jobs message problem. Yeah, they said that uh, he, 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 he did it again today. He's in, uh, he's in uh, one of the Midwestern towns on his bus tour. 
where he's actually got two or three fundraisers at the same time saying, we, you know, the Republicans are trying to stifle this nation. They're trying to hurt. He wants to supposedly to do business with the Republicans, but the Republicans won't let me create green jobs. The Republicans won't give me another stimulus program. The Republicans won't do this. Uh, and, you know, and he said it's the same message he keeps preaching. And, I mean, I, like I heard, you know, the pollsters on his side are really starting to look really gloomy. <laughs> I mean, they know that the, none of the Republicans that are currently running will beat Obama, but they're assuming that somebody's got, they, uh, one of the people say that basically this guy would, uh, you know, you know, he would do the Obama line right down to the very end. Uh, it said that they are, they're looking for a third party candidate. The, uh, mm -hmm. the Democrats that don't like him, the Republicans that don't like him, they're all looking for a third party candidate that they think can win the election. And stage collapse kills four ahead of Sugarland Coal. Actually, it's five now. They got hit. Oh, that's really sad. They got hit by a microburst, which is made another way, a fancy way of saying it, a tornado. Oh, is that really what happened? Uh, it hit the stage and just tore the stage right off the ground <gasps> and threw it on top of everybody in the front. It's where it didn't pay you to be in the front row, folks. Oh, that is sad. All of the high price tickets got hit, so. But I did hear a demo. I love this, a Democrat. Well, if those millionaires and billionaires had put their money to better use, they wouldn't have been killed or injured. Isn't that a good one? Oh they wouldn't have been gosh. killed or injured. Those weren't millionaires Can and billionaires. You know? These were country western uh, people that basically saved their money to go buy tickets at the county fair. That is sad. Just ordinary people. That is really sad. And a lot of them probably stayed out there for a long time to get into it. Oh, yeah, because um, the, the, it wasn't a millionaires and billionaires section in the front. It was first come, first serve because Which of the county means, fair. Those people could have stayed out there for days to get into that. Yeah, that's right. That's how you get into the county fair thing. They charge one ticket price. And Rhode Island Central Falls files for bankruptcy? Railroads are, nobody's, okay, nobody. Oh, that's, that's a railroad. Yeah, road out and saw, I think it's on um, my Monopoly. Oh. But nobody, nobody's writing because nobody has any money. I mean, only the, only the Democrats cannot get it through their heads that if you don't have money, you don't go anywhere. Gunmen abduct U.S. man and brazen raid in Pakistan. Yeah, they were dressed up like Westerners, you know. Really? They, they were uh, light-haired, light-eyed, looking like Westerners, which means they probably were Westerners. And was probably a, there was probably a, a kidnapping for reasons other than ransom, folks. And debt deal complicates liberal support for Obama. Which nobody, I, I, I did hear the guy, I heard two of the pollsters, for, actually there were three of the pollsters this morning, all Democrats, trying to figure out where the press, the left press is getting this idea that he's a pawn of the Republicans. They said, did the Republicans get a budget cut? Mm -hmm. No. Did the Republicans get the uh, military cut? Yes. Did the Republicans get the balanced budget? No. Did, the, did Obama get high, more government spending? Yes. And he said, you tell me where he's a pawn to the Republicans when four out of four things he got, the Republicans got nothing out of the deal, nothing. They didn't even get uh, budget cutters on their so-called super group. And AT&T to throttle data speeds for unlimited hogs. Yeah, basically, uh, they paid for unlimited service. They have though. paid for unlimited service, but there, as you have to, people understand, there never was such a thing as unlimited. I know. The unlimited was like three or four gigabytes. You mean it's like whenever we start having problems with our broadband service? Yeah. Okay. We get a slowdown all the time. We're not. You, we're, I mean, we're talking, you know, hundreds of millions of bytes, and you know, which is not that much because, you know, a one high def thing. Can uh, can run you a gigabyte all by itself, so you're using hundreds of gigabytes. And Heather Mills, journalist, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> what is it? Well, we understand because we work with high def video. Yeah, and it takes it basically we do compression, compression, compression to keep the bandwidth down. Heather Mills, journalist, told me I've been hacked. I know. So uh, McCarthy now is basically demanding, okay, I want to, uh, we've explained this enough times. They're using hack to mean somebody paid to get information on me. Like TMZ, oh. like Roy, you know, like those scandal magazines, they pay somebody, but because of, of Anthony Weiner, they're now calling it hacked. 
Oh, really? There was no hacking done. An airline standby fare hike despite pressure. Well, yeah, they, uh, they don't seem to get the message that uh, nobody is... It, what you want to do to increase flying is to increase the uh, cost of the tickets. That always works because you have to understand the airlines are all owned by Democrats. And even presidents eventually have to admit that they have made errors that it there's there's all but one. Hey, that's the first time I didn't do the Monty Bubbleism. Oh, and a Monty Bubbleism. <laughs> She's already did it. So. Can you do <laughs> So there's no need of me doing it now. So. <laughs> that's true.